Hey yo guys, Rio. welcome back to another second channel video. This right here is the analysis of Planky, the plank to save them all. How did I get here? Okay, so this first little monologue was actually mainly improvised. He's killed more Germans than I have bottles in my bar. Okay, so Alistair was kind of based off of um, Gatsby. One small thing that I forgot to mention, my version of Alistair is obviously based off of Gatsby, but the original idea for Alistair came from Hasbun Hotel, so I just needed to mention that. Even this right here is based off of Gatsby. You know, there's this poor person, in this case, it would be Planky. For some reason, this very rich war hero is taking a chance on this person. And also, when you look at that, who else is watching Alistair? Planky Blazer, because obviously they were friends, as we will get to later on. Also, another thing that I forgot to mention, the song that I used right here is obviously a has been hotel song about the actual Alistair character. I purposely kept in this little radio bit though, because, you know, it's sort of foreshadowing because, you know, Alistair does become the radio demon. I love playing people. Wow, I wonder why he's saying that. It's not like his right hand man is Planky Blazer. God knows this won't be the last war our country fight. And Alistair was right. <laughs> Okay, so for this training uh, sequence, first thing is obviously the song is called I Want to Be Like You because Plinky, he wants to be like Alistair. But anyways, um, as you're about to see, Plinky, he's not very good at fighting at first. See, like, <laughs> horrible. And also, point out, he does not like the fire. Okay, so this was the first time that Plinky sort of shows his camouflage ability. And then, as you can obviously see, as they train more, now Plinky has become just amazing. Still doesn't like the fire, though. Keep that in mind. My two weeks vacation is over. Okay, so as mentioned before, Alistair, he, he was a very good soldier. So that's sort of why, I don't know, I guess the military gave him like a two weeks vacation. Like, hey, go back home. And then also, okay, but we did see Planky Blazer. Him being Alistair's right-hand man, Alistair was probably like, hey, also, you know, let, let this man go home too. No German's gonna take me down. <laughs> okay, buddy. When you win this war, make sure to find me on the other side. Hamilton reference. You're the greatest man I've ever met, Alistair Alexander. This is also all inspired from Gatsby. But until his death, we were brothers. So obviously, this is Planky Blazer speaking. Costly to our Navy was the loss of war vessels. Okay, shout out to this guy. <laughs> Little real life clips like this just made it so much better, and especially for the trailer. In immediately unifying America in its determination to fight and win the war. See, okay, that right there was a perfect line for the trailer. Okay, so this is the first time that we sort of get to see, like, you know, the Plinky that we all know and love. Like, this amazing fire. Fire? No. Fighter! This plan of yours better work. Okay, so Stalin and the US, uh, they did actually come together because it was like, you know, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. That's the biggest explosion I've ever seen. Keep that line in mind. You walk a bit funny, though. Okay, so this is kind of nodding at the fact that uh, Putin, uh, you know, in our age, I've heard many jokes about, like, the way that he walks because, you know, he's um, ex-KGB, and apparently they had, like, this weird way of walking. No one will ever believe you. Okay, so, okay, so this character right here was named in my notes, um, The Last Jew. I thought it would be kind of funny and interesting to be like, hey, you know how we all know that Hitler, you know, killed himself? Well, what if I say no, and actually, someone got revenge and killed him? I don't know. I thought that that was more interesting. You know what? I'm, I'm done. We'll just say it was a suicide. And as we all know, that is how he died. The reason that Planky doesn't, you know, kind of expose the truth is because, you know, then the news or whoever, they would probably be after this guy and like, hey, like, who did this? Was he military? Who was he? And honestly... That guy wants to live his life, Planky wants to live his life, so he's like, I'm not gonna go through that hassle. Plank people can tank a lot of radiation. Keep that in mind. What the heck did we create? So, okay, when the US dropped the first atomic bomb, they didn't know how big and powerful it would actually be. So, this was even a shock to Planky. He's like, what the heck is this? And also, as we'll see later on, like, he does have a moral compass, like, he's ruthless but he has morals. Okay, now that's the biggest explosion I've ever seen. Yup, see, see how quickly it changed? <laughs> 
So basically, the radiation sort of messed up with the technology on his plane, which led him to crash land. I dropped the nuke on you terrorists. Okay, so he's coughing because obviously, you know, the radiation is starting to affect him. And also, obviously, he thinks that he's in Japan because, I mean, he, he was just flying and then he crashed. He has no idea where he is, but he was just in Japan, so that's where he's assuming that he is. Hey, the day I see a doctor is the day I... <laughs> Yeah, see, Planky's very old-fashioned. He thinks that, like, doctors are the enemy. <laughs> Good morning, beautifuls. So, okay, as you can see, Planky now has his, you know, Planky voice because of the radiation. And also, Planky was treated as, like, a king in Hawaii because, you know, he defeated Pearl Harbor. Uh, <sighs> Jesus. He defeated Japan, so, you know, he has this giant mansion and stuff. He has ladies that love him. Planky the Plank to save them all pronounced dead today so he didn't give himself that name you know like the 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 people did whoever the people are whatever they did <laughs> i went back they just shoved me into another war and the press would be all over me that is true so i mean he was kind of right for wanting to stay in hawaii i'm retired now okay but also he's a liar <laughs> i mean emily so this sort of shows that, like, he doesn't care about these women. I mean, okay, it's not like he's using them. But they aren't his girlfriends, you know? All they are are distractions for Planky. Yeah, okay, I, I probably deserve that. Shout out to Drake. Okay, so as you can see, he likes hunting pigs in Hawaii. We'll get back to that later. Okay, so this is like a little nod to just like, you know, Minecraft physics in general. So he chops down this tree, but obviously it doesn't fall because it's Minecraft. So then he just looks at it very confused. See, like, <laughs> like, he's just very confused. He's like, wait, why is it not falling? So, okay, as you could see in all of this, Plinky never stopped training. Like, as we'll see, like, that's kind of like a theme that Plinky has. Like, he's just a natural born fighter. Like, no matter how many times he tries to stop, it's in his blood. Like, he can't. Am I making the right choice, Mr. Alexander? So, you know, Plinky, he obviously still misses Alistair after what like 20 30 years something like that so that really shows like you know alistair really did make like a huge impact on planky's life Two hundred thousand people so you know like i was saying earlier planky he does have morals if he knew that this bomb would kill that many people innocent people might i add planky would not have done it today's my birthday okay so this is another um you know gatsby reference gatsby probably did it for the same reason i did but okay the reason why i did this is because birthdays are sort of like you know a symbol of like a fresh start like you know there's a new year of your life so this right here sort of starts like part b of planky's life you want cake for your birthday yes please so you know, Planky, he, he's also just a normal guy at the end of the day. I mean, you know, he likes cake. Ever since I crashed here, you are still the only friend I've ever made. I, okay, I wanted to make it clear that they were only friends. <laughs> so, you know, this is the first time that Planky sees Mrs. Planky, and he's just like, wow. Planky's such, like, a little creep that, <laughs> that he follows her into the back kitchen. <laughs> Bathroom, where's the, um... Yeah, you got me. Yeah, Planky, you are not smooth. Blabbering and shouts me out already. Okay, so, you know, as we saw in Angelo's video, him and Bianca very much had, like, you know, this very, like, cutesy sort of, like, romance. Planky and Mrs. Planky, they're just, like, forward. They're just straight to it. <laughs> Take this lovely lady to be your Mrs. Planky. Okay, so, in, like, Plank people culture, it's not that the girls don't have names, but I've always sort of thought of it about how like i don't know it's kind of like a cultural like tradition where it's like when they get married then you know the lady becomes mrs whatever planky planky blazer whatever it might be they want me to fight and stop the spread of communism in korea so you know planky he, he was right earlier like as soon as you know his position gets exposed they're like hey you know come and fight this war there's one last war for our people it's Planky, you're such a liar. <laughs> you are keeping your restaurant. I'll go fight for a bit, then come back. Until then, I need you to take care of her, okay? okay. So, you know, Planky, he wants to support everybody. He doesn't want to sacrifice anything. Like, he doesn't want to take away his wife's bar to, you know, save Ilani, even though she's willing to do it. Go fight for our country. 
So, you know, she understands like, hey, there's, there's nothing I can do to stop him. So she's like, I'm just going to let him go. Also, another thing that I forgot to mention in that scene, you could see Planky like, you know, crouching down and getting down on Mrs. Planky's level. He doesn't do that with practically anybody else in this entire video. So that's just kind of symbolic showing like he is going down to her level, you know? Okay, so it's kind of hard to see, but that right there is Planky Blazer. Planky and Planky Blazer, they never met before the Nomad, but they were in a lot of same places at the same time. Planky, oh, he passed away in his sleep this morning. So that she could have died from a multitude of things. There is no specific right answer on how she died. Okay, so, you know, someone, he's banging at the door. A Korean soldier is trying to get to Planky. Boom! Planky Blazer just ends that guy! <laughs> okay, so that was the first time I've ever had to scream or, like, yell as Planky. It is very hard because Planky, like, usually, you know, <clears throat> like, his voice doesn't have a lot of emotion. It's It just stays like this. So, you know, him screaming and showing emotion, that was a new thing. Wait, I just realized something. Weren't there paintings there in the other shot when he was going to Korea? What happened to them? You know, I'm gonna pretend like that was on purpose. Mrs. Planky sold the paintings to try to pay for Ilani's whatever surgery bills or I don't know. Oh, yeah, also, okay, so in this scene, you know, Planky, he lays down his gun. He's like, I want nothing to do with fighting right now. Maybe if I was here, I could have been there to help Ilani. See, Planky, he blames himself for a lot of things. I mean, the nuke, uh, maybe even Alistair's death. It's not your fault all those people died. So many people in this tell Planky that it's not his fault, yet he keeps on thinking it is. I see what some of these soldiers do to themselves. This is talking about PTSD and, you know, veterans committing suicide, stuff like that. They ended all the stuff, the pain forever, and they leave behind even more pain for everyone that loved them. That is true. Okay, something funny. Okay, so obviously, you know, we see this bar at the very beginning. I think this is the real life bar. After that, you want to meet at the bar? Sure, I just need to do that. See, Planky, he's a mild alcoholic, but like only with beer. <laughs> the final paperwork for my new restaurant. That'll okay, so see, she is talking about how she's about to buy a brand new restaurant. We'll get to that later. Thank you, I guess. So see, you know, Planky, he thinks that this bell is stupid, but we'll get to that later. I love you too. See you tonight. Yeah, they didn't see each other that night, and that was the last conversation that they had, which is crazy when you think about it. Hey, don't. Okay, so see, Planky, he thinks about, you know, intervening and being like, hey, you know, you can't just send that guy off to war, like, that's not right. But then he's like, I, I don't want to get involved in any of that, so he just walks away. No, that is 100% the same bar, because look, okay, this right here, we, we can see the outside of the Minecraft bar. That, no, that's actually the same bar. <laughs> Planky. Okay. You know, it's crazy. So, okay, so Planky walks into this bar three times that we see. Once at the beginning, and then there's this right here. As you can see, looks way different. But then, you know, we'll see him at the very end, too. Each time he walks into the bar, he is a totally different person. The last man I met named Joseph killed 20 million people. Stalin. Do you really think you're getting out of it? Yeah, I mean, you know, they kind of look at Planky as this just machine. They're like, hey, you know, we have a weapon. His name is Planky. She's not getting that restaurant. He, okay, all of this, Joseph just makes up 100% lies. If the U.S. loses, I'll kill her myself. So, you know, this sort of puts, like, tension while watching the this, you know, like, the rest of this video. Because it's like, we know in real life, they did lose. So it's like, what's gonna happen? Don't you dare put me in a position where I need to show you how ruthless I can be. This is sort of foreshadowing. But anyways, so yeah, Planky, he agrees to go to this because he's like, in the long run, it will better my wife's life, even if I die. One last hoorah. He's still kind of a liar because then he, he will fight wars on the Nomad later on. <laughs> Okay, so this whole cookie scene is a reference to, there's this one video, and it was some Asian military, I'm not sure which one. This guy was eating some sweet thing, it might have also been a cookie, but you know, this other soldier looks over and he's kind of sad because he's like, I want one of those. And then the soldier does end up giving him, you know, a cookie as well, and it just makes him really happy. You know, some small things I need to give us joy nowadays. Yeah. See, okay, so this is the moment Planky realizes, like, hey, you know, this this thing that I called stupid, this bell, it it's the last thing that my wife ever gave to me. You're my lieutenant. Oh, shoot. Sorry, I haven't gotten a list yet. 
so you know they automatically assign Plinky to be lieutenant of you know a um platoon because they knew that you know he has the most experience did you ever know someone named Elani? no i i don't think i did so you know Plinky, he kind of wants to forget that part of his life it's not that he doesn't miss her but it's just sad remembering her i know some of us don't want to be here but it's too late to turn back yeah uh, most soldiers they didn't want to be in vietnam they were just you know, they were students they were whatever you know the one thing that they weren't were soldiers obviously you know some of them were but not all of them this will be a piece of cake because that's what they thought they thought that it would be easy and we will win so so, okay, so that just hard cut of Planky, you know, he's giving this very uh, motivational speech, and it's like, yeah, no, we're just gonna sit in some foxholes. Everywhere. So this is where Planky realizes, like, guys, we are kind of screwed. Like, they really outplayed us. And then this is when he realizes, like, hey, this isn't gonna be as easy as I thought. But also, as you can see, I mean, you know, this Vietnamese leader, he already has blood on him. Like, he's he's been killing go pow so you know now okay so he took something that he loves which was hunting pigs on the island and now he's teaching his wife and his best friend in the back elani i've actually never missed before so but you know this time he did miss because i don't maybe he's nervous because you know it, it's his wife he's trying to make i don't know he's trying to like uh, shoot what's it called impress her that's what it is thank you so right there it's crazy to see like hey 20 some years ago he was living the bestest of the best life and now he is in the middle of vietnam in a cage that would be me planky he's very confident well not confident but he has like a lot of honor and pride you tell her i'm sorry okay so okay planky tells rico this because he thinks that he is about to be led to his death and he's like i i don't think that i'm gonna be going up to heaven so hey you tell her for me very popular on this side of the world because okay so in you know my nomad videos i call the pillagers uh communists so it would kind of make sense that ravagers they come from you know like communist countries like vietnam americans so loud i mean okay he's not wrong <laughs> you know what else is loud my gun see okay so rico he's also very like um you know he has like a loud mouth on him this soldier right here though you can definitely tell was one of the soldiers that wasn't a soldier you know like this kid like this is a kid he doesn't want to be in vietnam so he's like hey you know like rico don't don't do anything crazy just like let's just listen to the guy as you could see there are skulls on the ground because you know they've killed multiple people in this pit he 360s planky <laughs> also okay so for this whole fight i didn't know that there was a way to not have um the uh, potion particles so the entire time david is just in chat doing like slash um effect give uh, ruby creeper health so the entire time he's just manually healing me <laughs> you're dead wrong uh, 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 uh. top 10 most savage planky moments and also okay so the deeper cuts as you can see that's probably like you know actual wounds on him but the blood a little bit could be his but most of it is from the ravager ah! And then, of course, he does, like, this primal sort of a yell. He's like, yeah, I just did that. I'm Planky. You don't mess with me. We're getting out of this jungle tonight. Well, that, see, that was the plan. But as we'll see, he was the only one that got out of that jungle. And remember, if something looks like it could kill you, it can kill you. This is a reference to Jumanji, actually. Nope, nope, Jungle Cruise. <laughs> That's what it is. Wrong Dwayne Johnson movie. Okay, the music went along with this so well, I don't even know why. No, I couldn't save your mom. Let me save you. So, you know, Plinky's having some guilt. He's like, I, I didn't save my best friend. Like, this is my redemption, and I'm, I'm failing again. I'm not letting those commies tear you apart because of me. This is a reference to Telltale, The Walking Dead, uh, the last game, whatever. Uh, so Kenny, he tells Clementine, like, hey, Ron, I'm not gonna let you watch these walkers, like, you know, rip me apart. Do it. So, that is a <laughs> reference to Breaking Bad. There are so many references in here. But then, the, you know, the Viet Cong soldier, he keeps on shooting, you know, Rico's dead body, being like, ha, stupid American, ha, ha, you know. Imagine being like him, though. Like, he is just needing to watch this. <clears throat> 
So, you know, this was like a secret bunker that, you know, the Vietnam had. Planky, he, he didn't know that it was there, obviously. It just so happened that they fell into here. Because he thinks you win. I swear we didn't want to. All true. But Planky, he doesn't care. He thinks that the soldier's lying, so he's like, I'm just gonna kill him. He's messing with the wrong person. So, this book could be taken in two different ways. You can look at it like, I don't know, maybe the Vietnam had some sort of list about, you know, Planky and his group. So he's like, you know, they are messing with the wrong people because I just killed that guy. I killed one of your members. Or also, you can look at it as maybe this book is from someone. Like, I don't know, Agent Joseph giving away Planky in his group's position. And which is why he, you know, maybe kills Joseph later on. This right here is my favorite scene in the entire thing. I just think that it's very interesting to show like hey you know these people like they they were alive at the beginning of this war and now look what happened to them it's brutal okay so originally it was, it was just gonna stop there the flashbacks were only gonna be for the soldiers but then i'm like why not do it for plenky so so i do it and ugh, it's just so crazy like at the beginning of this video he was just a kid and you know he had a smile on his on his face and now he's covered in blood in the middle of vietnam with no one all of his friends just died it's crazy so this shot right here is supposed to sort of short of i can't speak today i don't know how to explain this but like you know in terms of like characters he's like a big person like he's very powerful and stuff but this shot is showing like he's just a guy and he's tiny compared to everything to the big war that earth is around him oh actually i just realized the name of that song is called unfair because it is unfair what happened to everyone in that situation and then it cuts to you know hippies and fbi and dancers you know just like living their life so okay like i mentioned earlier it's okay so Planky kills Joseph for one of two reasons, which will probably never be actually explained because, I don't know, I like to have that, um, ambiguity, that's what it, or ambi, new, something, whatever, ambiguous. <laughs> so it's either because of the book or because, you know, Planky finally realized, like, hey, where is my wife? You know, you said that you would take care of her. I can't find her. So, yeah. <sighs> So I actually drank something for that because I'm like, I want the right sound effects. Why would I give money to a baby killer? That so this is true, you know, uh, Vietnam soldiers, they were called baby killers and stuff because people saw, you know, these pictures of babies getting burned and things like that when the soldiers, they obviously didn't want any of that. Whatever. So, you know, Planky, he's probably been defending himself like that for five years now. I mean, he kind of let himself go. He grew out his beard. He doesn't care anymore. And he's sick of defending himself. Well, not sick of it, but, you know, he knows it's not going to do anything. Shut up! So, okay, so eventually, you know, Planky, he kind of loses it. And also another Gatsby reference. Just leave before I go to prison. So, you know, this is more where... Uh, so, okay, for the past five years, this ruthless Planky, he's been hiding. You know, but now he finally snaps out. You in? Yeah. I'm in. And there it is. The end of Planky, the Plank to Save Them All. And this sets up the um, next part of this series, which will be called War of Hearts. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and uh, peace.